So let's go over some more mole slash stoichiometry type problems. Okay, in number nine, you have to give a numerical setup for calculating the number of moles in a sample of calcium carbonate. Well, of course, if you go to the reference table T here, you find here's the equation. Number of moles is equal to mass over gram formula mass. You want to go back. So the moles in the sample what I would suggest is writing the formula moles is equal to mass over gram formula mass now they're just asking for the setup so plugging in the numbers is going to be the setup they didn't say anything about sig figs they didn't say anything about units so leave them off so your sample is 42.2 grams and your gram formula mass is 100 grams per mole. Now I'm putting the units after I just told you not to, but it's just so that you see it. So there's your setup for number 9. Let's go to number 10. Determine the percent composition by mass of oxygen in calcium carbonate. Okay, so this is of course another equation. In this case, now we're using percent composition. Part over the whole thing times 100. My suggestion is of course to write the equation first. So let's do that. Oop. So what do we have? We have percent is equal to the part over the whole thing times 100. So it's the oxygen. Now it's O3. You do have to account for oxygen three times. So it's 16 is the grand formula mass for oxygen times 3 and that's going to be divided by the whole thing and they already gave you the gram formula mass of 100 times 100 so 16 times 3 is 48 48 over 100 times 100 of course the hundreds are going to cancel and my answer is 48 percent that's for number 10 for number 11 and 12 we're using the information down here all right and let's check it out okay so in number 11 we have to balance the equation for ammonia and oxygen using the smallest whole numbers okay so I'm just gonna rewrite it because I don't have the formula in front of me again so what I always do is just literally go back and forth. So I have one nitrogen on the left, I have two on the right. I'm going to put a two in front of NH3. Now I have six hydrogens on the left, I only have two on the right. I'm going to put a three in front of H2O. So my nitrogens and my hydrogens are balanced, and now I want to go back and balance my oxygen. I have one on the left, but now I have three times one, or three on the right. Well, I have an odd number. I could make this one and a half and now it'll be balanced but it's asking for the smallest whole numbers. So what that means to you is since there's a one and a half now I'm just going to double everything through. So it's actually going to be four and H3 plus three O2 yields two and two plus six H2O and always go back and recheck. Four nitrogens, four nitrogens, four times three, twelve hydrogens, six times two, twelve hydrogens, six oxygens, six times one, six. It's balanced. Finally, for the last one here, for number twelve, they're asking for a numerical setup again, calculating mass in grams for 4.2 moles of sample O2 and 32 for the grams per mole of the gram formula mass. So, once again, reference table T, notice it's repeating. So we have moles is equal to mass over gram formula mass. Now in this case, I have the moles. 4.2 moles is equal to the mass is my X over the gram formula mass, which is 32. Now this is the numerical setup, I'm done. Keep working hard.
practice practice these over again these over again remember these are the 2017 so he uh, stoichiometry mole questions